I was inside that forum last night, and Ann Romney and Chris Christie both roused the faithful inside there last night, standing ovations for both of them, uh, Betty. But it remains to be seen if they really move the needle all that much for Mitt Romney and his bid for the White House. Both tried to address specific weaknesses facing the Romney campaign. Both spent time talking about the economic challenges facing the country. It was the biggest speech of Ann Romney's life. She delivered a personal speech, urging skeptical voters to get to know the Mitt Romney that she knows, making a particular appeal to women. She said the nation could try trust her husband to turn the American economy around. I can't tell you what will happen over the next four years, but I can only stand here tonight as a wife and a mother and a grandmother, an American, and make you this solemn commitment. This man will not fail. And Romney then joined his wife on stage after the speech, stayed inside the Tampa Times Forum for the keynote address from so Chris Christie. And without States. mentioning the president by name, Christie railed against the lack of leadership in Washington, especially on fiscal issues, called for truth telling to the American people about the tough choices facing the country and the sacrifices required. I don't know about you. But I don't want my children and grandchildren to have to read in a history book what it was like to live in an American century. I don't want their only inheritance to be an enormous government that is overtaxed, overspent, and overborrowed a great people into second-class citizenship. I want them to live in a second American century. Now, Christie uh, did get a big ovation uh, for his uh, speech last night. Uh, he said Romney would make those tough choices, but it did take him 16 minutes to mention Romney my name. It sounded a lot more like uh, perhaps he was running for president. Still, the delegates in there, Betty, they loved it. They ate it up, and they think it really set the tone for the rest of this convention. Uh, and, Peter, what can we expect from Paul Ryan tonight? What does he need to deliver? Yeah, he's the headline speaker. I think you're going to get some of the truth telling that uh, Chris Christie talked about. Don't be surprised to hear uh, Paul Ryan talk a lot about the entitlement reform issue, about the need to take on Medicare, despite the political risks of that. And Betty, I think you can also expect him to talk more about Mitt Romney, to mention Mitt Romney sooner than 16 minutes into his speech. I think you get a dual mix of that. But again, Republicans really looking forward to this speech uh, tonight. They're hoping he delivers the same sort of uh, knockout punch, they say, uh, that Chris Christie did last night.